grilling different types of foods and trying to uh, explore um, different ways to grill, show you the right way how to do it. Um, here today we're going to do a Hawaiian pork chop in our first episode. Um, so let's get started. Um, you're going to first prepare your marinade um, and that includes a soy sauce, a half a cup of soy sauce, a third cup of vegetable oil, a fourth cup of onions, mix, two garlic cloves mix, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Uh, and here's all the ingredients. Uh, once you get the, combine the soy sauce, vegetable oil, the onion, and the garlic together with the brown sugar, uh, you're going to get your little Ziploc bag um, to prepare, the, to put the mar all this in so to marinate. You're going to marinate it about three to two hours, 30 minutes, excuse me, 30 minutes to two hours. The longer the better. Uh, it gives the, the juices or the marinade time to penetrate the meat and the longer you put it in, the more flavorful it is. Um, so we've already combined the ingredients for the marinade. And let me show you how that works. Here we go. It looks a little about like this concoction with uh, the pineapples. You can see the garlic with the pineapples in it. You know, put that in the refrigerator for about, again for about 30 minutes, at the minimum 30 minutes to two hours. Um, this has been sitting in there for about an hour and a half. So it is good to go. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, put these on the grill uh, and we'll be right back to show you that step. Welcome back. Now we're going to take our pineapple uh, pork chop marinade mixture with the pineapples and the soy sauce marinade. Um, we're going to remove the pork chops from the marinade, place them on a plate. And these are about one thick inch uh, pork chops. You can use anywhere from four to six for this recipe. That's my camera guy, Jason. AKA the star of the show. AKA Master J. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna take these out of the marinade and also you're gonna remove the pineapples from the marinade as well. And the extra uh, marinade, we're going to use that, put it in a separate bowl so we can baste our pork chops later to add more flavor to it while it's grilling. After that step, we're going to go to the outside of the grill and cook these bad boys up. We'll be right back to show you the grill step. Welcome back. Uh, we are now at the grill step. We're going to preheat our grill. It's about 400 degrees. We're going to do these hot, extremely hot, so we can get them done uh, because these are pretty thick pork chops. So we're going to place them on the grill. I think somebody heard that and is coming to investigate. And once you get these on the grill, you're going <laughs> to let them cook about 15 to 20 minutes total. So we're going to come back and flip these at about 10 minutes. Okay. And you don't want to put any marinade on them until the second half because all you'll do is just burn it up. Smell good. Syner I don't want damn synergy in my grilling show. Yeah, she's in there now because she's interested. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll be back. And you're going to have to put her up because now we're going to take a look at our pork chops just to check them. They're coming along pretty well. I'll loosen them up. Is it burning them or are they looking good? 
nice drill marks coming along. We're just going to shift them so they won't. And we're about five or six minutes in. Yeah, having that grill closed is even cooking the top of already on the first one at least. Yeah, they're looking good but not burning. That's why you cook them on high heat. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes when we flip them. Set. Okay, now we're at the halfway point in our cooking stage. We're going to go ahead and flip these pork chops. Looks like they're cooking pretty well. Yeah, those are great grill marks. I'm going to flip them. Oh, can't control them. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to flip them over and put them in the same spot. I'd rotate them since that one's not burnt and this one is. And while we have it up, we're going to go ahead and start basting them. Get some of that flavor. And hopefully this will be the only time we flip them so we won't have to burn them anymore. I'm going to put the basting on them. Base them pretty good so we get some of that garlic and brown okay. sugar on it. And in a few moments, we're going to put those uh, pineapples on to the grill. on the grill and get those started. But you don't want to put them on too soon because it doesn't take very long for those to, to cook. So we're going to base these and be right back with the final stages of our cooking. We'll show you how to put the pineapples on next. Synergy says, when are they going to be ready? I want some of that meat. Well, you can't have none until if we get full. Okay, now we're in the last five minutes, so a few minutes of grilling, so we're going to go ahead and put our pineapples on. You don't want to put these on a direct heat, really, so we're going to put them on the top layer, higher level of the grill, so we can get these cooked up. And you still want to watch these very carefully because that sugar is going to burn if you don't watch it. I'm going to go ahead and baste these pork chops once again too. Make sure we get that flavor locked in there. Oh, that smells so good. How they look it on the other side. Oh, they're coming along pretty well with the grill mark. Not cooking too fast. In a few moments, we're going to check the temperature and make sure we got the right temp on the inside of them to make sure that uh, they cook through. Okay, well, we'll be back in just about a minute or two. Just let the pineapples cook. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and flip those pineapples that we put on there a few seconds ago. Yeah, they're cooking pretty good. Oh, drop one. <laughs> I watch that. Yeah, you can see they're just turning around the edges. That's what you want. They're nice to getting softer, so be careful with them that you don't break them up and they don't slide through. And you do want to make sure these are fully cooked because they do have the juice from the raw pork. Let's go ahead and check, check a temperature and make sure we don't overcook them. Ooh, that grill is hot. I'm going to get a little thermometer here. Stick it inside of the meat. Climbing, but it's not there yet. Not quite. We have a few more minutes of cooking, so that temperature should get up there. 
This is about almost 140 now, so we have to get it to about 170, and they'll be ready to go. Okay. Okay, we are almost in completion of grilling. Uh, the temperature's not quite up to 170 inside. These are pretty thick pieces of pork. But we're going to go ahead and take our pineapples and place them on top of the pork chops. We're going to allow them to cook that, that juice and flavor to cook inside the, on the uh, pork chops. Give it an extra flavor and a few more minutes and they should be ready. Yeah, we're looking probably at just another two or three minutes. We'll be back. You got to move your dog. Okay, we are at the end point. I don't know if the picture, yeah, that's not going to show, but our temperature, our temperature is right at 165, so that's plenty enough. We're going to go ahead and get these off the grill now. And you can't use this marinade as a sauce because it has got raw pork juice in it, so you don't want to do that. Ah, my finger, my finger, my finger, my finger. <laughs> and one more left. If I can get it, pretty hot. The danger of cooking with high heat, you can't even get the meat off the grill. <laughs> We're going to get our pineapples off. Then we're going to go inside and I'm going to cook up a couple of quick side dishes to go with this for you. But you want to leave your grill on to burn off all that sauce off the thing for about 10 minutes. And when we come back, you'll be having a little bonus episode of Cooking with Jason. We'll be back. Go. Okay, now we've got our pork chops done and we need a couple of side items to go with it. We're not going to get too fancy. Uh, to go with the theme of garlic pork chops, we're going to have some garlic baked potatoes, mashed potatoes. I'm not going to try to make any home made things. This is just some packs of potatoes. You mix it with water and microwave it. So I don't think you need to see me do that. Uh, we're going to have some Texas toast, garlic or cheese bread. That's simply put it in the oven. And you can, I'm sure, follow instructions on the packet. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and put it on the sheet. And then I will cook something for you. Just for the information, this cooks at 425 in just five or six minutes, but you have to watch it. Okay, now the main thing I'm going to cook is going to be garlic green beans. You can just use some frozen whole green beans. And you want to turn your stove to about 7 out of 10, if that's how your thing measures, or medium high. And you want to put just a small amount of olive oil, not much because it will smoke. And then put your beans in. And you're going to need that minced garlic. And your salt and pepper. And your sugar. Now, the main thing about these is just patience. Because all they are is just frozen. Garlic 
garlic, there's not really a measurement. You just want to go crazy with it. Probably about two spoonfuls or whatever. In fact, I'd probably use more than this, but it's already empty and I don't want to open a new, a new bottle. And then you get that mixed in. And you do want to keep stirring this because the ingredients will burn. And you put your pepper. A good amount of salt. And then you can also be pretty liberal with the sugar. And all you do is just keep stirring these until they start getting uh, more green and more done. We'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, well here we are. Our bread is done. Our mashed potatoes are done. Our beans are done. And the pork is done. That's the makings of a dinner of Hawaiian pork chops by Mark with the help from Jason. And I guess we'll be next we'll be back next time when we come up with another good idea for grilling and chilling.